Now, NBC 26 meteorologist Gino Recchia. All right, our temperatures were in the 60s today, but it is going to be getting even cooler as we head into the weekend. Strong cold front moving in, and that has sparked off showers and thunderstorms. Looking at the time lapse, you could see these scattered showers and storms rolling in here, even to a couple claps of thunder moving in as well. We've got a strong area, very powerful fall storm developing over the central plains and rapidly moving up to the northeast. You see a plume of moisture, heavy rains all the way from, let's say, Missouri up into northern Michigan and eventually into Canada. We're right along this axis of this heavy rainfall. Now, closer look shows there's even some snowfall on the cold sector of it. Up in the panhandle of Texas, they're seeing some light snow into maybe a rain snow mix in parts of Kansas. We're on the warm sector of this, so you don't have to grab the shovels just yet. There's a severe weather risk, though, down to the south, a minor risk of uh, severe weather. There's potential for some tornadoes, gusty winds, large hail, and that risk of severe weather extends all the way into southern Wisconsin. A couple hours ago, we even had some severe thunderstorm warnings in Fond du Lac County as a line was lifting up north from Beaver Dam. Thankfully, though, those storms have quickly dissipated and moved on to the other side of Lake Michigan. At the moment, still dealing with some light and occasionally moderate rain showers, but we've got a larger plume of moisture down to the south. It's going to move in here and will continue with the rainfall lasting all night long. It is not going to be letting up until later tomorrow night. Here we are, 945, moderate to heavy rainfall, potentially some embedded thunderstorms on top of it. Going into midnight, still moderate to heavy rains. Now we're getting closer to the morning on Saturday. Starting to lighten up a little bit, but we can't say goodbye to the rain just yet. Starts to pick up though, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. And it's right around this time when the heaviest and the widespread coverage of the rain will lift up to the north of the Fox Valley with some drier weather eventually getting here. It's a lot of rain that's coming in here. One to three inches possible with even some locally higher totals. We do need the rain though. It has been dry. Now once the rain has left it up, we are going to be transitioning over to some very gusty winds. We've got a wind high wind warning in effect for the Fox Valley and up into the Dror Peninsula with wind advisories elsewhere. We could be talking about wind gusts approaching near 60 miles per hour tomorrow and the strongest winds likely between I'd say 2 o'clock and 8 o'clock in the evening. So during that time, it's not going to be pleasant, especially if you're driving east and westward. Here's our skycast showing the strong winds initially out of the northeast tomorrow morning. But look how quickly they shift out of the south and they will be cranking up very quickly as well with strong winds around 40, 50, near 60 miles per hour into the afternoon and evening. This finally starts to let up as we get into Sunday morning. Still breezy, but certainly nothing as strong as what we're going to deal with for tomorrow afternoon. Temperature planner for tomorrow, upper 50s near 60, normal highs 49 will be above average, just not as warm as what we dealt with earlier in the week. 54 in Green Bay right now, west wind at 3 miles per hour, so it's a calm wind, but winds will start to pick up out of the northeast later tonight. 52 in Appleton at the moment, our sunset is at 538. We've got temperatures in the 40s up to the north, still holding on into the 50s along the lakeshore, 60s still though in Sheboygan. With those winds right now relatively calm, but they're going to start to pick up tonight. Cooling off into the mid 40s with northeast winds 10 to 20. For tomorrow, we'll get up to 57. Southwest winds 15 to 30. Gusts approaching near 60. 70 forecast upper 50s on Sunday, low 50s Monday, Tuesday, but 60s do return Wednesday and Thursday. We'll be back after the break.